Hello guys, it's your clinically depressed boy edgy machine here and today we're going over the best black loadout for $100. Make sure to follow me on Twitter to not miss any news and probably reasons why I don't upload. Cheap excuses, no matter what. And also, if you want to have some fun on my Discord, go ahead and join that one. All the links are down in the description below. Last but not least, turn on the fucking bill. And if you haven't already subscribed, what the fuck are you doing? Subscribe right now, or I'll come home and th you throw the little fuck. <laughs> If you guys want to support me and buy skins at the same time, make sure to check out my Skin Baron link in the description below. Thank you. Starting off this list, we have the USPS Stainless and Field Tested Condition. Um, especially the silence on this one is black, and you can get it for $1.25. For the guys who still play the P2000 in the year 2019, you can go ahead and buy the P2000 chainmail in souvenir minimal wear and just scrape off the stickers because actually the normal version of it is more expensive so you can either buy the souvenir one and just keep the stickers on or scrape them off if you don't want them and yeah, a pretty nice looking skin actually. On the T side we have the Glock 80 Knight, it's a pretty simple skin in a minimal wear condition, you can get it for only 70 cents. Um, it's not really much to say about this skin because it's just black, that's all it is, and therefore it fits this loadout. For the dual Berettas we also have a pretty common skin which is the dual dragons and in minimal wear condition you can get it for 16 cents and yeah I think they're fairly nice looking also black so they fit the loadout. Uh, for the P250 it was kind of hard to find a black only gun so I decided to take the Kato as it has a black handle and actually looks pretty nice. In field tested condition you can get the skin for $1.65. If you're not the biggest fan of the ZZ, you can take the 5.7 for the CT side and there I decided to choose the Silver Quartz skin. It's a pretty nice looking skin and it's very dark, like it's darkish, it's not exactly completely black, but I think it will still fit the loadout and like I said I'm factory new, you can get it for 34 cents. Um, on the T side we have the Tax 9 cutout in factory new condition for 50 cents or if you don't like it that much you can also go for the ISAC in factory new condition. It's around $1 more expensive, it's $1.50 but if you prefer it I don't because it's got red on it and it doesn't fit the black loadout too well. Still it's got a lot of black on it in general but I'd prefer the cutout which costs 50 cents like I said in factory new. At the carnival. If however you are that ZZ player then you can also go for the Tuxedo in factory new condition for 40 cents. Now for the Deagle I have chosen the Conspiracy in fact in your condition you can get it for around $3. It's a very nice looking skin and completely black almost so it definitely fits the load and actually is a cool looking Deagle skin. The total cost for the cheapest version of pistols would be $7.15. Now coming to the rifles, we have the Farmer's Doom Kitty on the CT side. In minimal wear you can get it for 61 cents. Yeah. 
for the T-Site Galil, you have two options again. You can either pick the Galil Tuxedo for 38 cents in factory in your condition, or you can also take the Galil Urban Rubble in field tested condition for 47 cents. Now, for this loadout, I reckon you take the M4A4 skin, but if you don't like it at all and you really want to play the M4A1S, you can get the Basilisk in factory new condition for $1.97. If however you like the M4A4 more, which would come in pretty handy for this loadout, you can take the M4A4 Magnesium in factory new condition for $1.53. For the AK we have the almighty black lemonade which has been featured quite often in my loadout videos but this time it actually fits perfectly fine and it only costs $10 so a very nice looking AK skin for not a lot of money. For the scout I've chosen the SG dark water in minimal air condition and you can get it for a cheap 46 cents um, on bitskins. For the AUG we have a pretty uncommon skin, or a skin that's not often seen, at least in casual matches. We have the Orc Wings in factory new condition for $1.50. Um, it's a black skin, fairly good looking and fits the loadout. For the SG553 we have the Triage in factory new condition for $1.32. For the AWP we have a pretty um, common one actually, which is the AWP Elite Builder Minimal Wear. You can get it for around $4. Um, again, it's not the best looking AWP, but it definitely fits the budget and it's okay looking, like it's not too bad. And yeah, like I said, it, it's, it's kind of dark so it fits the loadout. Now for the auto noobs we have the SCAR 20 carbon fiber and factory new for 5 cents and on the T side the, the auto sniper ventilator in factory new condition for 13 cents. The total price of all the rifles would be around $20, 1996 to be exact. And with that being said, let's move on to the SMGs. On the T side, we have the Mac 10 Whitefish in Battle Scar condition. Um, why Battle Scar? Because it doesn't really change anything about the skin. And it's not the prettiest one, in my opinion. It will cost you 15 cents. And yeah. For the CT side of course we have the MP9 and I've chosen the Dart in factory new condition which will cost you around 28 cents. It's a very nice looking skin and it fits the loadout totally fine. Depending on what you play you can either choose the MP7 or MP5. If you are the MP7 player you can go with the Armour Core in field tested condition for only 6 cents. Um, it's a black skin, so yeah, you can go with that one.
If you prefer the good old MP5 though, you can also go ahead and buy the Dirt Drop. It's not exactly a nice looking skin, but it's the only black one. And in fact, in your condition, you can get it for 22 cents. For the UMP, I've chosen the carbon fiber, which has been in here once before. Um, yeah, it's a pretty normal looking skin and it's not really expensive. It only costs 5 cents in fact unique condition because it's also a normal drop in the game. But yeah, if you want to have that, go for it. For the Rush B Suka Blade, we have the Elite build in fact unique condition for 87 cents. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say about that one. Last but not least, we have the water gun, the PP Bison. And you can either choose the Osiris skin for 50 cents, or if you want to have the expensive version, it would be the carbon fiber in this case, because um, I think because of the trading up, it's so expensive, you can trade up to better items using this one. And that would be $5 or even more. So I definitely recommend going with the Osiris instead of the carbon fiber, which you can get for 50 cents. The SMGs would cost a total of $1.86, again that's the cheapest version and yeah pretty cheap overall for SMGs in my opinion. Coming to the heavy category, we have the Nova Graphite in factory new condition for $1.30. It's a very nice looking skin, um, it's a bit bucked here in this inspection, I don't know why but it seems like the sharpness got out of shape or something, but usually it doesn't look like that and it's a very nice skin. For the XM1014, I've chosen the black tie and battle scar condition for 23 cents. It's a pretty nice looking skin, and as the name can, as you can tell by the name, it's also black. And this time we actually have the SWEC 7 in the loadout, and in battle scar condition, you can get this gun for 27 cents. The Sword of Limelight in Battle Scar condition costs 32 cents. It has a decent amount of black on it, and that's why I just stuck it in there. Next up, we have the gun that is pretty much useless in the game right now. But if you still want to have a skin for the M249, you can go with the System Lock in Factory New Condition for 30 cents. Um, the Nagif skin I've chosen for this loadout quite well fits the Nagif itself, um, being the Bratatat um, for 22 cents. Um, yeah, it's not really exactly black, but it's the only one that would kind of fit in there, I guess. So I've just chosen that one again for 22 cents of Vector New Condition. You can um, buy the skin from the Steam and Bitskins market. The total of the heavy category would be $2.63. For the knife, there is really only one knife you can choose, which is the Field Tested Gut Knife Black Lemonade. And on Bitskins, you can get it for around $60 at the moment. And if you buy the complete loadout, you'll still have $9 left over, which is quite good. So you don't actually have to care about fees too much because I think that would even out. So you would be um, able to buy all of this on bitskins.com. In the car alone at night, driving home the highway lights, strobing by, windows roll down ice, flowing, blowing, growing I Don't really know where I'm going up in this lonely life. There's so much I don't really know what's like. I'm floating in a boat and the tide is rolling by, surely but slowly, and I'm hoping my rowing will override. But knowing this road.